Good morning, Dr. Joe here, and I wanted to go through a really easy process that you can go through to get some daily exercise in. I know that daily exercise can be a really big issue for some people because maybe it takes too much time or they've got hurt knees or hurt backs so they can't do certain exercises. So I wanted to go over a really easy exercise for you guys. And it actually involves foam rolling. So I don't know if you guys have ever done foam rolling before. Foam rolling is a really easy way to get your body moving, to get your blood moving, to get your muscles more supple and really create flexibility in your body. A really important thing that you want to do in, in relation to longevity with your life is actually create flexibility. And some people don't like doing stretching, some people don't like doing yoga. Those are really great ways to be able to create some flexibility in your body. And so foam rolling is actually an easy way to be able to create some flexibility and, and uh, increase mobility in your joints without having to go through the whole stretching process. So we're going to go through a five minute process of what you can do with the foam roller. Now this particular foam roller looks pretty aggressive so there are some foam rollers that are just completely flat all the way around and those are great foam rollers. You just need something that has uh, a firm it's going to be firm, it's not going to like collapse on you when you put your body on it. You want to get a foam roller that just, it feels good to your body. And so, they, and they don't cost a whole lot. Now this one in particular, this one actually has a vibration feature in there. I don't know if you can see that. I can actually turn it on. I turn that on. You push this button here. It actually turns on a motor. You can see how it's, it's shaking. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it actually has a vibration feature. So if you have a little bit more in your budget, you get a fancy roller like this, and it's really nice because that vibration feature actually creates some massaging and while you're doing the foam rolling, it helps increase the blood flow even more as you're doing the foam rolling process. So that's this is a really great suggestion. This particular one is called Vibe. I really liked it. It is it is a more aggressive firmness. And so if you're not sure you want to have a really aggressive firm foam roller, then this might not be the one for you. But I really liked it. It's been a really good one. I usually like to use the mode three to be able to do the foam roller. So how about we now go on to the whole foam rolling routine and go from there. Okay, so now let's go ahead and start the foam rolling routine. Now some you might be able to go out and see that some foam rolling routines actually will take you 10, 15, 20, 30 minutes. You can do even an hour of foam rolling where you have to foam, foam roll your whole body. So I'm just gonna show you a simple five minute routine that you can go through that will hit all the major muscles in your body, really get things stretched out and moving for you. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna use the vibration feature in this. So let's turn that on. So I usually like to start with my lower body. You wanna start with your calf. And I start at the very bottom of the calf here. And as you go up, you wanna bring your toe up like this, okay? So you go up, toe up. As you go down, toe down. And you're just putting some pressure on there. And what I like to do, I like to try to get all the different angles of my calf. Maybe do a couple passes. Awesome. And then I move on to this next one here. And you can add more pressure onto the foam roller if you're feeling like you're not getting enough pressure on it. And you can vary the pressure. You just do light pressure and just let it roll over it. Okay, great. So now we're gonna move on to the hamstring area. I like to start right at the behind of the, the knee. Go all the way up to the bottom of your butt. And again, I like to rotate my leg and my body so that we're getting plenty of, we're getting all the muscles. Great. Again, vary that pressure depending on how much you want to do here. That's the nice thing about having that vibration feature 
on the foam roller is that you don't have to be as aggressive with your pressure when you have the vibration because that really does a lot in relation to activating the muscles, activating the blood flow. Okay, great. So now we're going to do the upper thigh, which this movement looks kind of funny. <laughs> it can be kind of awkward, but you sort of the top of your or the top of your knee like this and you just slide down the foam roller. Okay? Again, try to rotate that muscle so that you're getting the whole muscle done. Okay, so we'll move on to the next side here. Now by this point, you can start feeling that your heart, your heart's going to be moving and your heart's going to be pumping, which is great because now you're actually not only are you creating some flexibility and mobility in your body, but you're actually getting your heart moving. It is a really important factor for, for exercise and longevity. Whoa, wait. <laughs> okay. All right, great. Now, I like to now then do the buttocks. So you can do them both at the same time like this. And then come on to the one side like this. Do this side here. Great. Now we like I like to get the side of the thigh too. Now for some people this can be really this can be a really tender spot for them. So you might want to get into it slowly. Just like this. Great, now let's do the other side. Okay, great. So now we've got most of the lower, most of the lower body. So let's do the upper body. I like to start off with the side of the body like this. Good. I like to keep my arms stretched out like this. Make sure I get that whole side of the body here. Okay, now we want to get right on the front of the shoulder here. Now you might find that maybe there are certain movements that you'll find that are a lot easier for you to do positions so if you don't like the way that I'm doing something then try it in a different way but just hit those major muscles nice and I like to get my forearms done Great. And then to end, I like to do my spine. So you just take the, the foam roller, get the low back, and then if you have the flexibility and ability to do so, you can foam roll out like this. And then I like you can foam roll out like this really get that upper back to open up because most of us work jobs these days where we're stuck in this position all day right so this is a great thing just to take the foam roller especially with the vibration setting on or just open up like this
Great. And there you go. There's a really simple formula and routine you can take yourself through once or twice a day. And you're going to find that the more consistent you are with it, the more results that you're going to get with it. And that's really the most important part about this whole process is being consistent. And if, you're, if you can be consistent with something as small as this, you're going to find that your mobility is really going to the increase, the circulation is going to improve throughout your whole body, you're going to sleep better, you're going to feel better, you're going to have more positive energy throughout the day. And so there's a simple five minute rolling routine. So I hope that's, that's great for you. And if you have any comments, leave them down below. And uh, we'll see you next time.